Blessings to you and your family. You received this video because God is doing something new in Wyandotte County, and you're invited to join in on the conversation. Please, let me and my colleagues explain. Nearly 20 churches have come together to launch an organization in Wyandotte County to do justice. We wanted to start by listening. So someone from your church has invited you to a small group discussion over the next couple of weeks. We hope you attend. It's going to be exciting for three reasons. First, it's not going to be your standard chit chat. Your host has been trained to lead this discussion in such a way that you and your group can open up about your personal experiences and hopes for our community. Second, it's going to lead to action. Someone will take notes and host, a host has been asked to report on the concerns and visions you share. Out of your discussion will come first priorities for our organization and the people power to get justice done. Finally, this discussion marks the start of unity among churches in Wyandotte. We expect AME churches, Baptist churches, Church of Christ churches, Episcopal churches, United Methodist churches, non-denominational churches, and others to join in the discussions across the county. We can come together while the rest of the world is so divided is because we all follow a God who loves justice. One scripture in particular helps us understand God's call for justice. In Matthew 23, 23, Jesus says to the religious leaders of the day, Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites, for you tithe, mint, dill, and cummings, but you forget the weightier matter of the law, justice, mercy, and faithfulness. In this verse, Jesus points to three weightier matters of the law, justice, mercy, and faithfulness. When we compare these three requirements to the activities of our churches today, we see that we are doing a good job at encouraging faithfulness. We join in worship at least 52 times a year and encourage prayer and study to strengthen our relationship with God. This is good. We also do mercy well by assisting individuals in times of crisis. We put together backpacks filled with supplies for kids. We collect food for the hungry. We provide guidance to the people returning from prison. We send money to places rocked by floods, hurricanes, and earthquakes. This is good. But what about justice? The Bible shows countless examples of God's people challenging the powerful around the fair treatment of all, especially the poor, widows, and orphans. But churches today are often absent or scattered when it comes to doing justice. And there's a good reason for that. We cannot correct the injustice in our community alone. As one church, we can bring people together for worship or collect food for the hungry. But making sure our cities are just and fair for all requires a strength in numbers approach. We want you to join in this movement because it will serve as a vehicle for the churches in Wyandotte to understand life in our city and fulfill God's call to do justice. The steps we will take are modeled after justice ministry organizations in Topeka, Lawrence, and Johnson County. The four steps are simple. Listening, selecting priorities, researching to understand problems and viable solutions, taking action to demonstrate broad public support, we begin this process by inviting you to come and share your stories. In December, we will gather and vote on the priorities we think we should address first. Over the winter, we will do extensive research on the chosen priorities. And next summer, we will come together as a community to powerfully call for long-term solutions that work. And then we will begin the process again. This process comes out of scripture in the book of Nehemiah. You may remember Nehemiah as the one who came back to Jerusalem to rebuild the wall around the city. In chapter five, we learned that uh, during reconstruction, he heard an outcry from his people. There was a drought 
and people were forced to take loans to feed themselves and pay the king's taxes. As the drought continued, people had to sell their land, their vineyards, and even their children. The people explained this injustice to Nehemiah, and he became angry. Then he stopped just to ponder what to do. Nehemiah could have decided to do mercy and set up a food pantry uh, or credit counseling to help his neighbors in their time of crisis. Instead, he decided to do justice, to address the moneylenders as a whole. He called a great assembly, had the moneylenders appear before the Lord's body and asked them to restore the things that they had taken from the people, and they did. This is a great biblical model for us as churches come together to do justice and wind up. We noted earlier that our respective congregations gather 52 times a year to exercise faithfulness ministry. Our vision for justice ministry is that each of our congregations will turn out their average worship attendance once a year to fulfill God's requirement to do justice. Our first Nehemiah action is scheduled next summer. We expect to bring over a thousand people of all faiths together to address some of the problems that you will share and show support for the solutions we will research this winter. Getting 1,000 people together on the same page one night around two different well-researched issues of justice will be a major undertaking. To start the journey toward justice, we invite you to attend a small group discussion at your church. We thank you in advance for your consideration. May God richly bless your time together as you share with and listen to each other. And may, may justice, justice roll down, down like a mighty, mighty river, river in Wyandotte County. County.